all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to this latest video from Next Gen 15. I'm Angus Savage and today we're going to be looking at week three of our top five school teams of the weekend. Before that though, just a few bits of housekeeping as ever. Please do make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, whenever we have a new video, you'll get notified of it. Uh, and it makes a big difference for us in terms of being able to get out much more content to you. Um, also, make sure that you follow us on social media. That's at NextGen15, at NextGenXV on both Twitter and Instagram. And also head to our website for all the latest news and opinion on the school game. That's www.nextgen15.com nextgenxv.com thanks very much on with the video so now that the season's sort of underway we're three weeks in now we know a bit of form and we know a bit more about each of the teams so with these top fives we can start to look a little bit more beyond just the the mere score lines and things and in a bit more in depth into performances and relative performance versus the team you're playing against uh, whereas obviously we had no form to go on for 18 months previously. So you'll see a slight difference in terms of not quite as many big score lines in this week's top five, uh, but a lot more in terms of the dynamics of the season and how things may well turn out come the end of it. So uh, hope hope you understand the change and uh, do enjoy the video. Uh, as ever, no, um, no particular order, just alphabetical for the top five. And first up at Berkhamsted School, their second successive week in the top five. Uh, they were in it after a big old win over Abingdon last week, but uh, almost even more impressive this week as they went away to Bromsgrove and came home with a 22-3 victory. Um, really, really strong start to the season from Berkhamsted, uh, making big waves, and we're really excited to see what they can do over the course of the coming weeks. Uh, but this has been an absolutely fantastic start from them. Uh, as I said last week, almost as good as their TV adverts. Um but no, in all seriousness, Berkhamsted, really, really strong start. Bromsgrove uh, are a good team. They gave Stowe a really good run for their money the week before, and we, we know what Stowe can do. So uh, keep an eye out for Berkhamsted, because this has been a sensational opening uh, couple of weeks of the season from them. Up next, KCS Wimbledon, who frankly could have been in this all three weeks this season. They've been sensational every single time they've taken the field. Uh, this weekend, perhaps the most impressive of the lot. Uh, a 64-0 win over St George's College Weybridge, uh, bettering their effort against Reeds in the opening week that got them into this uh, top five for the first time. But they, uh, they've they got some big tests to come. Hampton in the Cup this week, followed by big rivals, local rivals, Wimbledon College, and then a really tough test away against Cranley. So the next three weeks are going to be defining for, uh, for KCS Wimbledon. But I'll tell you what, They've started the season like an absolute train. They couldn't possibly have any more confidence going into this kind of defining period uh, and absolutely deserve their place in the in the top five as they did in week one and frankly as they were right on the edge of being able to do in week two as well. They've been one of the absolute stars of the uh, the early part of this season. Up next, Sedba School. Um, it was only actually this week that Sedba managed to get some rugby in uh, a couple of covid enforced can cancellations early on uh meaning that they had to have a hastily arranged fixture against queen ethelburgers on monday which they they did brilliantly well in uh, but it was all about getting prepped for a huge game against woodhouse grove on saturday um woodhouse grove who of course our cameras the week before had been at for their absolutely brilliant victory against barnard castle which really showed what sort of test this would be for sedba uh and in in a huge test with very little preparation in terms of game time said but absolutely stepped up to the plate a 33 13 victory over woodhouse grove you know what what an absolute start to the season that is and it was a friday night as well they only had four day turnaround from the previous game um so we definitely uh, definitely want to be keeping an eye on said over the course of the season as ever when do you ever not want to but um a very very strong start from them Fourth on the list, Stanford School. Uh, we said at the top that this was going to be a slightly different list. This was a massive, massive victory, though. But uh, more importantly, Stanford are on this for the way they've bounced back after two pretty tough defeats uh, to kick off against Stowe and Denston College. So it's got to be noted that those are two absolutely brilliant teams, uh, as our live stream of uh, Denston against Warwick showed on Friday night. But um, on Saturday, Stanford bounced back 
absolutely brilliantly. A 54-0 home win over Solihull. Absolutely turning their season around just in one game. Um, absolutely brilliant from, from Stanford. Really, really impressive turnaround. Um, and I think probably goes to show just how good Stowe and Denston are and makes them very much worth keeping an eye on for the rest of the season. But um, more, more to come on them at some point later on in the season, no doubt they're both going to feature highly in these videos. But uh, at the moment, big hats off to Stamford for a 54-0 win over Solly Hull. A brilliant bounce back, great character from, from the Stamford guys. And finally, to Whitgift, um, arguably the game of the, the weeks, possibly the game of the season, to be honest, when they stepped up against Harrow. Harrow, who'd been in our top five in the previous two weeks of the season, and uh, they travelled to Whitgift. A massive, massive game. And I tell you what, it played out like it. It was a physical juggernaut of a game. Harrow absolutely camped on the Whitgift line, got held up four or five times. Uh, but Whitgift, really, really good, solid defence uh, and crucially managed to get the breakaway try from that defence um, that ultimately proved crucial. It was a 7-0 victory, um, which I think just tells you exactly what sort of game that was. So intense, so physical. One of the highest level games, you know, not just of the weekend, but of the this season overall. Uh, and... Yeah, whoever won that game was going to get a place in our top five, if if nothing else than for the sheer performances of Harrow in the lead up to this game, showed us what a level this is going to be played at. And Whitgift stepped up and did brilliantly, an absolute defensive masterclass, um, and a, and an opportunistic score, fantastic work from Whitgift. So that's our top five: Berkhamsted, KCS Wimbledon, Sedbur, Stamford, and Whitgift. Five brilliant teams, five great performances, a uh, real variety in terms of type of performance. You know, we've got a couple of close ones there uh, and also a couple of big victories. Uh, but of course, there's always loads and loads of sides that are, are near misses in these top fives, You know, trying to narrow down the best part of a few hundred uh, schoolboy games over the course of a weekend into five is no easy task. So we'll take a look at some of the others that uh, really impressed us over the course of this weekend. There were a number of standout performances across the country. Um, look at Bishop Vasey's Grammar, 58-7 over Loughborough Grammar, absolutely fantastic. Similar story with Manchester Grammar going away from home at Bolton, 45. Uh, Monmouth, really impressive stuff from the Welsh side. Remember, they already beat Charlton College and then they've had an absolute stormer against St Peter's Gloucester, 36-0. Northampton School for Boys, 58-5 at home to Campion, really showing their strength after a tough opening game against Wellington College. Brighton College had lost two on the bounce and then go and put a 37 nil performance in at home against Dulwich College. Absolutely brilliant from them. Kirkham Grammar School, of course, doing what Kirkham Grammar School do, 47 nil against RGS Lancaster, or Lancaster RGS, I should say. Um, brilliant, brilliant work from them. Epsom College, 53 nil against Reeds. Performance of the season from Epsom College. Reeds should uh, take heart, though, knowing that Epsom are an absolutely fantastic team. Uh, big wins as well for Exeter College at Plymouth College, Churches College away at Portsmouth Grammar, Royal Hospital School at home to uh, Colchester RGS. Uh, and then one of our reporters, Peter Crawshaw, was at Teddy's Oxford where he saw Magdalen College come back from behind to win 24-13. Um, St Peter's York, brilliant result against Craig's Wakefield in that Yorkshire derby, 33-7. The Judd, 52-10 against Ravens Wood. Blundells 48-5 away at Truro College at Truro School rather a difficult away trip that big win at home for West Buckland 52-0 over Queens College Taunton Wellington College again just rampaging through aren't they they're playing fantastically well this season 29-12 against Seaford College big things to come from Wellington I think this season and then of course our live game on Friday night Warwick against Denston College brilliant game could have gone either way actually uh, sort of ebbed and flow. Warwick were probably on top early on, but Denston College got them all going, started to connect with the back line and put in an absolute stormer of a second half performance. Really impressed by their flank at George Perkins as well, actually. 21-12 away from home. So just a flavour of some of the uh, the awesome performances that we saw across the country. But um, as ever, a challenge to pick out just five. But uh, I, I hope you agree with us. But if not, do give us a shout in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. That's all for today though, thank you very much for watching our latest top 5 school teams of the weekend. 
please do make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really does make all the difference. And of course, get in touch on social media at NextGen15, at NextGenXV on both Instagram and Twitter. And of course, head to the website. We've got loads and loads of stuff up there at the moment. www.nextgen15.com www.nextgenxv.com In the meantime, please give the video a like if you liked it. Um, and make sure that you comment, you know, let us know who would have been in your top five. Definitely a lot of competition this weekend, so do let us know. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.